what you have here with the USD JPY pair is a side trend. A side trend is defined as a series of relatively equal highs and relatively equal lows. If you look right there on the left side of the screen, you see that that's a high. If you look right at the bottom, you see that that's a low. If you go up here, you see that that's a high. If you come back down, you see that that's a low. If you go back up, you see that that's a high. Price pulled back slightly, then it went back up. That's a high. Price pulled back. I went down. That's a low. Price went up a little bit, it came back down. That's a low. Price went up. That's a high. So if you draw a line connecting your highs, that's your resistance line. And if you draw a line here connecting your lows, that's your support line. So because price is in between these two areas, that's considered to be a side trend. Now, what a technical analyst such as myself would do is wait for price to either break above this red line, which is the resistance line, or below this purple line, which is the support line, and then pull back, or pardon me, rally a little bit, then pull back. Fall a little bit, then pull back, then enter. Because right now, price is consolidating. It's in a side trend. I don't like side trends, so I don't trade them. I wait for price to either break above resistance, rally a little bit, then pull back, then close above whatever candle is created at the top of this resistance line or wait for price to break below support, fall a little bit, then come back to test this old support line as resistance and create a candle that closes below, below whatever the high is of this high day when price pulls back to touch what becomes old support.